What's going on guys? This is Juan with Greener Ground Salon Service and in today's video is going to be a very simple, very straightforward video for you DIYers who want to get a little vitamin D, who don't mind getting a little bit dirty and want to take care of some hedges around the house. So let's get right to it. So now, before we get to the footage of trimming the bush, cutting the hedge, whatever you want to call it, I want to talk about some things that you absolutely need to have, some things that you could potentially go out and get you are going to need a hedge trimmer it is not absolutely necessary to have a hedge trimmer you could do it with some shears with some loopers depends on the amount of work and the amount of time you want to allot yourself to get it done do you need a pole trimmer or can you just get a handheld hedge trimmer to get the whole job done in substitution of having a pole trimmer do you have a ladder that you can use instead? Another thing you wanna get, or hopefully you already have, is a rake. That way the pickup process is significantly shortened. Another thing which is going to help your cleanup is having a tarp. The six by eight, which is my most commonly used ones, I pick up for $4, so it's no excuse to not have a couple. Without further ado, let's jump right into the footage and break it down. So guys, as you can see, we're dealing with a big hedge. This is a hedge that's supposed to cover the AC and it is way overgrown. We're looking at probably 12 to 13 feet. Here's some of the tools that I have. This is the pole trimmer, I got the rake, the handheld hedge trimmer, the shears, and the tarp. All right guys, so we are here on site. And as you can see, this shrub has grown way above the level it should. The main purpose of this bush is to cover the AC. It's just really tall and there's vines growing all over it. So I'm gonna show you the different tools and the methods of how I would cut this in order to have a nice, easy setup and cleanup and make it look beautiful at the end. So let's get started. So first and foremost, I am going to be grabbing the tarp. It's mentioned. If you have a tarp, it's going to make that a lot easier. I'm only going to show you all the different tools for those of you that have just shears. You know, that'll get the job done, but it's going to take you a lot longer. You got to probably dedicate a couple hours to just cutting it with shears and making it look nice. Usually, I'll only use shears if it's very small work. Uh, but yeah, essentially, Pretty self-explanatory. Now, because I do have some vines that are growing through it, I just cut that piece and it did not go all the way to the ground. But yeah, as you can tell, yeah, it can be, it's easy. Some say that using shears is a little bit uh, therapeutic, but ultimately, if you're trying to get the job done quickly, especially if it's a paid job, this is it for shears. Let's get to something a little bit more practical. This next portion is going to be time lapsed uh, because I am going to be using this guy here. As you can see, using the hedge trimmer is absolutely amazing. It's like cutting through butter. So, as you saw there, yes, it cuts a whole lot faster. I would say it speeds you up about 300%. Now, the next item we're going to be using is the actual pole saw. And for the remainder of this video, I'm just gonna finish up the work and then pick back up with you guys to talk a little bit about, to talk a little bit about cleanup. All right, let's get it. As you're about to witness, just because I have the pole saw does not mean I'm not gonna end up on the ladder, especially because this bush was so wide. You wanna step back a few times just to make sure that you're getting an even side on both sides. You wanna have a flat top and make sure that everything is uniform. As you can see, I have finished. It's looking nice, beautiful, even, squared top, squared sides. It is looking clean. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I can probably bag this all up in a contractor bag, 44 gallon, easily. And I'm looking around, there's only very few fallen little branches of the bush that really needed to be up afterward because the tarp 
as I mentioned, pick up about 98% of all clippings. And it is absolutely a time saver. Absolute time saver. So let me go get that bag and jump right back in. We're back, guys. Okay, so got the bag. Another thing, stay hydrated. It's hot as heck. It's summer. And here we go. Now, since you were prepared and had a tarp, pickup is a breeze. This took me about a minute and a half to pick everything up. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. It's fully picked up. If you haven't watched my video hack on how to bag things fast, if all you have is your hands, maybe a rake, you should go watch it. Let's finish cleaning this up. That way I can mow and be done. All right, guys. And with everything picked up, now I can start mowing back here. Let me know what else you want to see next. Guys, thanks for sticking around. In a few seconds, you're going to see the before and the after. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was extremely hot, but it was fun to film that for you guys. Show you the different tools that you can possibly use for you DIYers, for you just starting your business. And hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, like, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more content out there for those of you that are starting a business, tips and tricks, and a couple of things for DIYers. So, till the next one. Bye, guys.